Ladies and gentlemen, my brothers, sisters, and sisters, unfortunately, I have to begin this video with some, well, unfortunate news. Because yes, unlike your father, they have returned. Yeah! Now, <laughs> if, if you weren't privy or aren't privy to who this human being is, I'd honestly just recommend you leave the channel right now, because no human being should ever have to venture into the universe which we are going to be venturing into in this video. But if you are choosing to stay, thank you very much. I tip my hat, which is backwards right now, to you, because this, of course, is the That Vegan Teacher universe. Now, if you don't know who this human being is and you have chosen to stay here, thank you very much. Congratulations. You have now got your license to being officially mentally ill. Now, who is That Vegan Teacher and what is this universe? Well, pretty much over the years now, That Vegan Teacher has become famous for all sorts of, well, honestly, not not really vegan-related things. She's known for pretty much going after a lot of content creators, all the ones you love, Jack Septicai, Tommy in it, all those good chaps. She's made a lot of videos out there where she has pretty much compared these people's actions to, well, one of the worst possible crimes known to humankind. And she's also known for her, well, I, I don't know how to describe certain videos, which I'm about to go into, but uh, whatever this is. Well, I don't think this song is going to be playing in the local club anytime soon. But yeah, there is a lot to that vegan teacher's story, and over the years I have covered her, but recently I've kind of stepped away. It's been a while since I last spoke about that vegan teacher, and it's mainly because every single time I cover that vegan teacher, it's pretty much the same thing. We speak about a video that she uploaded where she said some crazy things about veganism, and, you know, we say the same points, and there's nothing wrong in it, but naturally, ladies and gentlemen, I do get a little bit bored sometimes speaking about the same people, and that vegan teacher very much came under that boredom category, because yes, People have kind of come to the conclusion and assumption that this woman is indeed an internet troll. So you're probably now thinking, well, Fraser, why are you here? Have you just lost all ideas? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> but secondly, there is a reason to why we're coming back here, because uh, some things have actually recently changed. Pretty much, I'm going to now say a sentence to you, which uh, honestly no human being would ever really ever want to hear, and that is indeed, that vegan teacher... <laughs> has gotten into politics. <laughs> Jesus, no, no, no human being has ever requested this. Like, honestly, you, you put these two political figureheads next to each other and you really do Over need to Simpson. debate. Who was the person that needed to be arrested here? Both of them. But honestly, my main question is, is, is Trump going to be able to play Minecraft with Biden and Obama anymore? Because to be honest with you, I will be devastated if those boys don't get on the SMP anytime soon. And I, I do also feel a bit sorry for uh, Drake himself. I'll craft my sword first, though. Yeah, sure, whatever. Yo, Drizzy, I think I see your dog. Yeah, I'm here, Joe, and please don't call me that. But uh, getting away from uh, Donald Trump seemingly playing on a Minecraft SMP, uh, we need to get into, yes, the political career that that vegan teacher has now recently, in 2023, decided to pursue. Because yes, over the years she has here and there spoken about politics but recently ladies and gentlemen <laughs> when i say it, it's gotten political i i well, politics when you say political it, it can mean a lot of things nowadays and i'm just going to read some youtube titles to kind of get an understanding of what this person's politics actually is and uh, yeah, just before we do that go to the comment section and just comment below what you think's now about to come up because honestly I, i'd love to know what do you think that this woman <laughs> is, is getting herself into Three, two, one, and if you haven't commented, congratulations, you're on my naughty list. So we start off with a lovely video titled, Are Race and Gender Social Constructs? And I'm going to not answer that, instead I'm going to reply with a question of, uh, how does this actually, you know, relate to veganism? I'd, I'd, I'd love to know, are we going to start looking at the cock's cock? What, 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 wait, where's the veganism here? Gay man wants LGB split from QIA community. You can kind of get the uh, hint where this is going. Angry trans woman kicks and yells, wants to be called ma'am, are society's priorities straight? Well, seeming as we're speaking about the LGBT community, obviously not. And I'm not calling gay people or bi people like myself insane. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying some of us have a willy and, you know, like 
Willy. Man, woman, sane, vegan, what do you think? And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna repeat the same question again. Uh, what does this possibly have to do with veganism in any shape or form or way? Well, there's, there, there are a lot, a lot of answers to that question, which we will get to throughout the, the entire video. But the main thing is here, well, she's obviously using veganism as a kind of platform to then speak about her own political beliefs. And my brothers, sisters, and most importantly, this does, which honestly, I don't think that vegan teacher will take as a valid identification. But basically, since we last covered that vegan teacher, she has gotten, well, surprisingly more unhinged. Honestly, that's a little bit strange to say because, well, <laughs> if there's one thing we gathered from my previous videos, not only am I a big connoisseur when it comes to chicken nuggies, but also, well, this woman is a little bit nutty. And that I have to say nutty because it's the, it's the vegan food that she likes. And also, I will say, if you are vegan, I don't actually have a problem with you whatsoever. In fact, I've tried to go vegan like four times and I've taken all of the supplements. But every single time, my body's just like, no, Fraser, you need the nuggies. It's not that. I just get basically uh, crazy levels of iron deficiency and uh, I can't function properly even when I'm taking the supplements. So, uh... That's my life story. But what this does remind me of is, in fact, this man right here. Yes, Ollie London, and I do have to say, man. He's let us know over the last few months that he is definitely a man, but recently he has also got into a political career, just like that vegan teacher. As you can see on the bloke's YouTube channel, and I have to again say, bloke, he loves to tell us that he is indeed a... A strong bloke who's from London. It's weird, whenever I try to do a fake British accent as a British man, I, I sound like an American badly doing a British accent. But yes, what I'm saying here is Ollie London and that vegan teacher are strangely now on the exact same trajectory, but that does bring us into the question which has been applied to them both throughout the years, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Well, is that vegan teacher a troll? Is Ollie London a troll? Well, honestly, when it first comes to Ollie, I do believe that this person isn't a troll and is in fact a grifter. Now, what is a grifter? Well, it's somebody that pretty much seemingly kind of fakes or at least uh, bolsters their political views, which they don't necessarily 100% agree with, but they post a lot of political things because they know it can cater to a certain audience and therefore garner a lot of money. When you look at Ollie London, his career over the years has pretty much just been controversy, controversy, and controversy, but recently the one time he is actually getting some support is when it's seemingly been him speaking up against the trans community, which is obviously disgusting, using uh, the oppression of a certain community of people as your form of uh, revenue is disgusting in multiple ways and I genuinely think that you are an absolutely vile human being Ollie London but it kind of seems that that vegan teacher is a, a little bit different in my opinion I actually don't believe that she is a grifter well to an extent, I, I think at least with her, she does hold a lot of her opinions. Whereas Ollie London, I, I think is mainly just a troll trying to make a lot of money. Whereas that vegan teacher, I believe, holds a lot of genuine strong vegan opinions and also a lot of strong certain LGBTQ plus related opinions. It's definitely an interesting career path and with Ollie this happened when he was seemingly losing relevance but with that vegan teacher it's different. She never really lost relevance. For example this YouTuber Chris made a video speaking about that vegan teacher only a year ago and it has 20 plus million views but then this does kindly move up in move up move us into our next part of this topic because we will be speaking about her political career but before we go into that I want to really truly cement outside of politics to why this person actually sucks and the main reason i'm saying this is to mainly prove to the people that do disgustingly hold that vegan teacher's beliefs that even if you think she's right you can't outright deny she's a terrible person and i completely think you're awful for aligning with what she says and you're probably thinking well what is it we will get into that later in the video but there will be timestamps if you just want to skip ahead but with chris it, it was a little strange situation because yeah chris and that vegan teacher had a back and forth you know how it is they make a video on vegan teacher vegan teacher fires back it's the same old story it happened with me and vegan teacher it's usually not like the end of the world it's good for both parties you know that vegan teacher gets some attention you get your monetization your views and so does the career making the other videos it's all a good thing but this ladies and gentlemen well it was a bit different because that vegan teacher decided to take a very sensitive topic when it came to SA and you know what that means I'm not going to say it because I don't want this video to get age restricted she took a topic relating to that and used it to a disgusting uh, I'd say advantage but honestly it only made everybody think this person is way worse than we originally thought if call me Chris was a victim of SA then why is she paying for it to happen to others ah well 
That's an absolutely mental title. And yeah, over the last few months during Chris and That Vegan Teacher's beef... <laughs> If, if you don't want to subscribe, honestly, I can I can completely understand. But if you do want to subscribe, this is your reminder now to uh, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I am currently trying to hit one million big old subscribers, and I understand that I can be a little bit irritating, but if, if you could help me out, you can leave eventually when I hit a million subs and laugh at me when you unsubscribe. But either way, it would be nice to get there and get the plaque and all that good stuff. This doesn't benefit you in any way other than getting content every now and again, but uh, it really benefits me, so please subscribe. But what I was trying to say is pretty much during that beef between Chris and that vegan teacher, as I said, uh, Vegan Teacher has been taking Chris's story about SA and attempting to pretty much weaponize it in order to bolster veganism. But honestly, I think that's completely unfair because I've used this argument throughout my previous Vegan Teacher's videos of where Vegan Teacher will take a very sensitive topic and, and use it to bolster veganism. But honestly, I, I don't think it's that because I think saying something like that negatively impacts and reflects on a lot of other vegans out there when honestly, vegans are just trying to do what they think is good for the world. They think that it's just a good moral act. And I actually completely agree. I, I really do wish that I, I didn't crave and, and love meat, but uh, sadly I do. But I, I do also admit that vegans, in my opinion, are making a very good moral decision. But I don't think that's what Vegan Teacher is doing here. Instead, I think that she is using veganism as a platform to pretty much just uh, allow herself to be a complete bell end to other people. And that moves us into the political stuff that I mentioned earlier, because she is now doing the same there. But I the reason I'm speaking about this Chris thing is to pretty much prove that outside of political things. So uh, let's just take a look at this clip for a second. One of the things that just popped up on my feed was the time that you were crying and you were gave, it was about a 20 minute video and you were talking about your past and how you were uh, assaulted. Unfortunately, it sounds terrible to say this, but most of us have been assaulted. So we all have to open up our hearts. So Chris, I'm gonna go through some of the points on here and I'm gonna think about what you said regarding the fact that you were assaulted. Because as you as you may or may not know, that is exactly what happens in the industry. Sometimes, ladies and gentlemen, I, I do think that we are banning the wrong platform. I know this is my career and I know I'd be on the streets and homeless if I, if I didn't do YouTube, but uh, sometimes I think, is it this platform that needs to go and, and should we just keep TikTok? Because at least TikTok are seemingly taking down our insane videos, but YouTube, we're just like, nah, this is fine. But, and honestly, you know, she can go and say that, uh, free speech and all, but uh, free speech doesn't mean uh, freedom of consequences. And uh, the consequence is here that uh, basically, I think you're a complete utter bellend. And this does bring us back to the debate of, is that vegan teacher actually a troll? Because usually with a troll, I, I wouldn't say they're all intelligent, but at least it means that there is some, you know, a plan to go into a troll. You have to work out why you're doing something and what you're doing it for to get a reaction. But honestly, it sounds a bit mean, but I think she's a bit too stupid to actually come to some form of articulate plan where she's going to troll the internet. And th there is reason to this. Firstly, I don't think that this woman grew up uh, during the, the, the age of the internet. And obviously, she was around when the internet was growing. But when you're a kid and you're growing around the internet, you're going to be accessing it much more than a regular adult is. There is a reason to why kids are usually better with the internet, especially in the early 2000s, than adults, because we had more time. You know, we our parents were working, we had the summer holidays, we had all of our spare time to be on video games and just playing things on the internet, watching videos. Uh, parents and adults didn't really have that. And I think with somebody like this, I, I don't think she grew up with troll culture surrounding her. And honestly, I, I just think when it comes to her ignorant beliefs, this is simply who she is as a human being. I genuinely don't think that vegan teacher is a chronically online human being. I think that this is just her. And if we're to say that she is a troll, or something like that, or chronically online, it almost feels like we're making an excuse when, honestly, given everything we're going through today, I think that she is just a bad dude using a thing like veganism as a platform to be horrible to other human beings like Chris because these comments aren't justified in any way and even if you do think that meat is murder that doesn't give you the right to go up to a human being speaking about their experience with, with SA and, and being like oh but what about these things what about that you are invalidating somebody's feelings and thoughts by doing that you can still say these things without having to bring up Chris there is absolutely no need to do what she is doing. And this is why I don't think she actually truly is a very good vegan whatsoever. And I know she's probably watching this right now thinking, oh, yeah, that's really rude of you. Firstly, hello, uh, that vegan teacher. I'm sweating right now. And that's because you're making me very sad. But secondly, 
you're not a good vegan because you make vegans all around the world look bad and people it might surprise you genuinely see somebody like that vegan teacher and base their opinions and assumptions on all vegans i think for the most part vegan jokes are very boring and, and very like early internet boring humor which has been repeated so much that it's just a little bit cringy whenever we're making vegan jokes like when you see a vegan honestly i made some of these jokes myself in my older videos but seeing a vegan be like oh why don't you just eat a chicken burger it's just like mate it's somebody's dietary choice not affecting you <laughs> off but with that vegan teacher it is affecting people with her political stuff which we will get into but also just doing what she is doing here is so unbelievably invalidating to what happened to chris but it only gets worse throughout it but yeah that vegan vegan teacher, you need to realize you're only making veganism look bad and honestly probably swaying a lot of people away from actually being a vegan. Hello students, welcome to class. Today I'm holding my camera phone here and I'm looking at my iPad and showing you this account by Call Me Chris. She has 48.7 million followers. She's Canadian like me. The reason that we're looking at this account is we're trying to understand what is going on with this person. First of all, it should be stated that she's an excellent actor. She plays so many different roles and uses all different kinds of accents. And a while back on YouTube, she made a video saying that she had been sexually assaulted when she was a younger person. And my heart kind of went out to her. You know when somebody's speaking about a very sensitive topic at the beginning of their sentence, and then they kind of get into the second part of the sentence with just the big old word of, but, y you know something terrible is about to come. Then I started to look a little bit closer, and now I'm not convinced that it ever even happened. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I, I would love to shout and scream and give an instantaneous reaction because I've already seen this video and I'm not just going to start screaming everywhere. And instead, I want to give a little bit of analysis. I've received a lot of comments over the week when I announced my vegan teacher video that pretty much over the last few months, that vegan teacher has become a little bit more humanized and understood after she has done videos out there with other content creators where she's been interviewed and spend the days with them. And people have started to think, wow, this person is actually quite different to what I originally thought. And honestly, I don't have a problem by some of those videos made. In fact, none of the videos. I think that they all came uh, from good content creators who I genuinely really enjoy watching. But I don't think that those videos make that vegan teacher a good or nice person. You can put anybody in a documentary which is meant to be about their whole like life and what they get up to, and they're probably going to play it for the camera and, and seem nice. And, and honestly, when it comes to non-political stuff, and if you were like a vegan who, who genuinely like has the same beliefs as that vegan teacher, she'll probably be very nice to you, unless your pronouns are they, them. But you know, uh, she'll probably be really nice to you, but to me that doesn't you know, uh, alter past certain things. Because honestly, somebody can be a horrible person. Somebody can kill somebody, right? And I know this is a pretty obscure, like, uh, big comparison, but somebody can murder somebody and they could be, a, like, a nice person in some other aspect. You know, they could help an old lady cross the street. They could not kill somebody. They could, you know, uh, make somebody a nice cup of joe. But that doesn't alter the fact that they've said and done bad things. And I think that applies to that vegan teacher. So with this whole conversation about she's changed, yeah, she has changed. She's gotten worse. Because not only has she taken extremely sensitive topics and used it against Chris in some stupid shit throwing contest, but also she even took an extremely sensitive topic and, and, and used it against... <laughs> me in this video here called I Nabba and Joe Robe Brothers at Heart in the Family of Hypocrisy. And if you don't know who Joe Robe is, pretty much I did like a 45 minute video about how this guy is one of TikTok's worst ever predators. And, and she has compared me to the bloke because I love chicken nuggies. And yeah, you can think chicken nuggies are, 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 are murder. Go for it. That's your opinion, uh, my, my friend. Not my friend. But th that's your opinion pal, uh, it's, it's still not working. It's, it's, it's your opinion of a content creator on youtube.com. It, it's your opinion, but it's not, in my opinion, a fair comparison whatsoever. Because firstly, this is somebody who has literally taken advantage of, of, of minors, human beings. And I don't care what you say, human beings obviously are on another level when it comes to like treating somebody with respect. And I, I get it. Meat is 
murder. And even if you do think I'm that terrible person, you can just say that without having to use the stories of actual victims to bolster your beliefs. So again, this isn't her being a good vegan. She is just using the platform of veganism oh to be terrible. And I know what her response will be in her big one hour video where she's marking me like she's my teacher. Well, yes, you're speaking about somebody who has, you know, negatively impacted somebody's lives. You negatively impact the, the cows and the chickens' lives. And, and okay, that's absolutely fine. Yes, I've committed the most heinous crime. Throw me in jail. Throw away the key and make me watch Marvel Face 4 for the rest of my life on repeat. That is a criminal punishment, which no human being, I think, has ever committed a crime. Well, I shouldn't really say that. There's a lot of bad people out there. But I, I shouldn't be able to be forced into watching the MCU Phase 4 for the rest of my life. That isn't something I don't want. But what I'm saying here is I think that she will just call me a, a, a murderer pretty much. And I think that's could be true. It could be. But I don't think you should be using real human beings' trauma as a way to, you know, throw shit in my face. But then that moves us back into her political career with the same arguments of her using veganism as a platform to just in general be a bit of a bellend. Firstly, when I first heard about her political opinions and, and new, like, uh, where, where, whatever you want to call it, uh, career? Political career? I don't know if you can call it that because pretty much everybody is outright rejecting this. Unlike Ollie London, who had a lot of support for what he was doing, uh, that vegan teacher has received nothing but backlash, mainly because, well, how does this have anything to do with veganism, but I found this out from an Instagram post she made with a, a photo here which is seemingly two women and I, I guess a woman who has a beard and they're saying, relax, I'm a woman. And pretty much this is just the transphobic rhetoric 101 that a lot of these reactionaries love to use. They'll take something which is designed to make you uh, get, get a provoked response. It's meant to make you think, oh, wow, that, that that's so true. He, he, or he, or she, or they shouldn't be in there because they've got a beard or something like that. They are doing this to provoke reactions. It, it's transphobia 101. It doesn't actually look into the trans community in any way, shape, or form. It doesn't show how it harms trans people. It doesn't show anything other than this will get a reaction and get people on my side. Because sadly, when it comes to transphobia, it is just all about getting a reaction and provoking people. And the caption is no, hashtag that vegan teacher, hashtag woke, hashtag insane, hashtag why I left the left. I mean, if you're speaking up and, and and oppressing trans people, you're not on the left. I, I don't think anybody really needs to know that you're not on the left. It's weird because I'll, I'll skip it a bit forward here, but she's been making loads of videos where she's been watching like Ben Shapiro, Matt Walsh videos. These are all right wing people. They identify as right wing conservatives. You aren't on the left. You were never on the left if these are the opinions that you hold. But yeah, it then goes on to say wokeism, hashtag woke is a mental disorder. And then in the comments, she claims that this has nothing to do with trans people, it's to do with truth and lies. And, and to me, this is just a, re a rendition of the same people that go, I'm just telling it how it is. Brexit means Brexit or something like that. Whenever there's something political affecting real human beings, people will just be like, these are just facts, man. These are these, uh, facts that aren't going to hurt your feelings or whatever the phrase it. You know what I'm trying to say here. These people love to say things like this. And you know, despite saying it's nothing to do with trans people, it's just about facts or whatever, you can go to a Twitter account and see that she's pretty much been tweeting that she's a, a, a part of the LGB community. And if you don't know what that LGB community is, pretty much it's a bunch of morons that don't realize how much trans people are, firstly, a part of the LGBTQ plus community, but secondly, how much trans people have actually fought, like actually died to protect and just make the LGBTQ plus community accepted in society to get equality, not just for trans people, but for lesbians, for gay people, for bi people, for anybody under the LGBTQ plus umbrella. Trans people have fought for this for years, such as people like Martha Johnson, a trans woman of color who for their entire life fought for LGBTQ plus rights and equality. But these people seemingly just outright deny that and demonize and oppress trans people. And honestly, if you're watching this right now and you are a transphobe or something on those lines, mate, why? Like, honestly, it doesn't affect you in any way, shape, or form. These are people just trying to exist as human beings. Why does it affect human beings this much? Why does it provoke this much anger? Just go do something out of your life. You don't even know these human beings that you're getting angry at. Like, I know I don't know that vegan teacher, but the reason I'm getting annoyed is because she is affecting people that do exist in my life. With some of the things that she's posted about people like Dylan Mulvaney and other people out there, and again, I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is 
very unscripted right now. It's just a little rant that I didn't even mean to go on. But by her attacking these people, using her social media platform to post things like this, it only provokes a reaction against all trans people. And people like to say, oh, well, I don't like this thing. I don't like this being taught to kids and stuff like that. You've got to realize that a lot of that rhetoric is only used in order to kind of, it's like a Trojan horse. It makes you think that your moral compass is right in, in some way, shape or form. But then that is used to then actually just attack all trans people. And what that vegan teacher is doing is affecting trans people that you know and you love. And the LGB part, which she put on a Twitter account, is saying, in Canada decades ago, I fought for the rights of LGB people to be able to marry and adopt kids. Now I'm looking at an LGBTQIA plus e-tech community that cries about being oppressed whilst digesting the bodies of pigs, chickens, and cows who never did a single thing wrong to them. And again, she is using veganism as a way to attack trans people, LGBTQ plus people. But honestly, I, I firstly think that's hilarious because a lot of trans people are vegan. But secondly, it does just show how she is so far going to use veganism as a way to push her horrible beliefs. Again, it's the Trojan horse argument. She probably doesn't even care about veganism as much as she says she does, but she is going to use it as a way to spread these beliefs. This has nothing to do with veganism, but she is only saying it in order to, I, I guess, try and get some of her her fans on board which is just utterly disgusting and i know this video has taken a bit of a serious turn here but it does honestly upset me quite a lot but ladies and gentlemen if you if you do want to have a little bit of a laugh and a little bit of a joke well let's look at the joke which is actually her opinions because it's strange that that vegan teacher says these things in this tweet but then weirdly enough only a year ago well i found a tweet where she seemingly uh, completely values the entire LGBTQ plus community. Hello, members of the LGBTQ community. This little sign here is for you. Let's read it together, okay? It says, all members of the LGBTQ should strive to be vegan. It's a little bit weird to me that she was making a tweet uh, speaking about the LGB community, but a year ago, she was absolutely fine with it. So, uh, what's changed here? Because first thing in the tweet, she says that, uh, she fought for LGB people for decades, but now it's some reason indifferent? Is she, uh, retconning things here? What's going on here? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it, it does go into the whole debate of grifting. And you may be confused, and I think I've said that, like, four times throughout this video, but you may be confused because I said that she isn't a grifter. Well, I think she's, like, a subcategory of grifter. I think that she was actually grifting a year ago. I think when it came to her support of the LGBT community, she never actually meant it when it came to the entire LGBT community. And I think that shows now with these tweets, with these posts, with these videos. And you may be thinking, well, why is that? Well, sadly, ladies and gentlemen, transphobia is outright on the up. I, I can't explain it. I don't know if it's because of the political system and everything, but I, I, I've genuinely never seen so much transphobia in the world uh, than right now. And I know I'm not a trans person, uh, but it's scary that I'm noticing these things. Ever since Elon Musk bought Twitter, I go on my For You page on Twitter, which is honestly one of the worst things ever added to Twitter. Why do we have a For You page? But I go on the For You page and it is just people so happily being transphobic. And most of them, as I say, use Trojan horse methods to get their beliefs in there. And honestly, it's just outright disturbing that people now are becoming utterly comfortable with these things. And it's honestly becoming a bit of a career path. As I said earlier with people like Ollie London, it seems is an actual career path, a business opportunity to just put these provocative posts and videos out there where you pander to a horrible audience. And, and to me, that's really the reason why these things are happening. She clearly realized that there is now an audience for this because in 2023, we've just gone a million years backwards. And honestly, that's outright just disgusting in my personal opinion. Disgusting for the obvious reasons, but disgusting for the fact that she has videos where she backs the entire LGBTQ plus community but also disgusting for the fact that, as I said earlier, trans people are some of the main people that fought for equality of the entire community. Don't claim to be a part of that community and try and subsection it off when that community was founded with and on trans people. And just looking at her channel now, it's just utterly confusing because, as I said, she is, is responding and watching videos about trans-related issues by Matt Walsh. And if you don't know who Matt Walsh is, 
Firstly, he's somebody that pretty much said that he is going to go to war with trans people, claiming that trans people started this. But the reason I mentioned that vegan teacher here is because, as I said, she has done videos where she's just seemingly watched the, the these uh, videos by Matt Walsh about the trans community uh, and what is a, a, a woman. And in these videos, she tries to use veganism as the reason she's making the video. Occasionally, she'll be like, oh, Matt Walsh, I agree with you on some things, but you also, you know, eat chicken or something like that. When we know why she's making these videos. There is nothing to do with veganism in Matt Walsh trans documentaries, but she is obviously going to use veganism, as I've said throughout this video, as the Trojan horse to speak about her horrible beliefs. Today we're going to be looking at this channel, which is called Matt Walsh. Now, I haven't seen yet what we're about to look at, so I thought, you know what, I'll just come here and watch it with you guys. Now, Matt Walsh is somebody who I agree with on certain issues and I also disagree with. Although Matt Walsh makes sense in a lot of issues, in other areas he is really behind. He doesn't really understand yet that animals are sentient beings. Matt Walsh created a documentary called What is a Woman? And apparently people are going crazy about this documentary because nobody wants to really say what a woman is because, you know, there's now some transgender people in the Olympics and uh, everybody is just up in arms with the, what's going on in the school systems, what we're teaching kids. And Matt is one of these people who thinks that the trans community has gone overboard. Again, my question for the 60th time this video, what is this to do with veganism? Absolutely nothing. She is just the vegan rendition of Ollie London. And in fact, their career trajectories are pretty much on the exact same path now because when it comes to these reactionary people, they have a lot of uh, a specific few people that they like to point at and, uh, and, and say horrible things about because they know that people on TikTok, a lot of younger reactionary people will just laugh at it because it's the person that they're known for laughing at. And this one person is unfortunately Dylan Mulvaney, a, a trans person, and pretty much Ollie and that vegan teacher have made a bunch of videos calling out Dylan, saying how she is, it's just all, you know, uh, uh, basically saying that she's a man and a load of other terrible things. I, I don't want to go into full details here, but, but it's just disgusting. And they are seemingly covering the same person, which just shows to me that they are trying to subtly get into the market. They're at school. Hi, Jordan, for being at school. And I see you have the LGBTQ flag. And yes, I do support the LGBTQ community. Dylan Mulvaney is a man who wants to be a- I support the LGBT community. Proceeds a few seconds later to not support the LGBT community. And not only has she been misgendering Dylan, but she's also been misgendering Blair White. They, them, Zezer, it in itself are not valid pronouns. The person who's talking here is a man who had surgery and now looks like a woman. I think she wants to be identified as she, and so that's what I will call her. Her name is Blair. Ladies and gentlemen, to me, that is just outright and utter deliberate disrespect. She says that she wants to respect Blair White for who she wants to be, but at the very beginning of the video, she literally does a contradiction to that. The person who's talking here is a man. I mean, it is a tactic because throughout the video where she'll respond to me, she'll probably say things like, oh, I never said these things. You're putting words into my mouth. And yeah, all of this video is an opinion piece, but it's an opinion piece based on what I think are pretty valid things. And yeah, overall, it is just very weird to see this shift in content. I mean, look at her playlist, for example. She's got things calling like trans stuff woke. Uh, you got a woke slash lib playlist list where it's Ben Shapiro speaking about, you know, this sort of stuff. It's just utterly bizarre. And honestly, it does just make me really sad because at one point of time, as I said at the beginning of this video, when it came to the vegan teacher, you'd make your video, you'd respond that it would be a little funny back and forth. It wouldn't actually be that serious. I don't think any of us ever thought it would be. And honestly, I think probably a lot of people are disappointed that this video isn't more of a big funny laugh and stuff. But I wish it was. I, I wish that this wasn't a career path that she was going down. And yeah, there were signs here and there, but it, it's just sad that it's honestly like a reversal. She's gone from supporting the community seemingly, which, I mean, debatably, to then, you know, whatever this tweet is and everything else. It's it's sad and it, it's the reality of why I, I don't think this person has changed for the better, like a lot of people have said. I don't think she's been humanized. I think it's just more obvious to who this person truly is as a human being. I don't think she's a good vegan and I think that this is honestly not a very nice person. To conclude this video, that vegan teacher, you can make your response. You can say all the things in the world about me. You can say that I'm this, you can say that I'm that, but 
either way, even if you think those things and some people think they're true, it won't change the fact that everything we've gone through in this video today, which is all recent, it's not like I'm digging things up. It, it, you just go into your recent Instagram post. I mean, I literally, I guarantee you, editing this video, there will be another video related to some form of trans issue or something like that. I mean, yeah, there literally is right now. It, it is right there. And once again, it is more 101 transphobic rhetoric. Topics like this obviously are going to provoke a reaction. I'd love that vegan teacher to sit in front of a adult trans person and actually say the things that that vegan teacher believes because I don't think it would be the same sort of thing. I don't think it would get the same response. You would see a real human being being seemingly attacked for who they are as a human being, trying to separate the LGBTQ plus community. It's not only soundfish, but it's outright ridiculous because the trans community are a massive building block of that community, just like gay people are, just like lesbians are, just like bisexual people are. It's ridiculous that you're doing this and I'm going to end this video by saying, please, for the love of God, that vegan teacher, Katie, or whatever your name is, please, just just don't. Just don't do it. It's, it's just not worth it. You can still get videos and, and, and money out there by making your vegan videos. I honestly would prefer it if you did it. And if you ever want to have a conversation about these issues, I'd, I'd love to. If you want to DM me in private, you're more than welcome to. Um, but uh, actually, no, go DM a trans uh, activist or something, because I'm not the one who should be speaking really on that completely. But if you ever do want to have a chat, my DMs are. But yeah, that is the end of the video. I'm sorry if this video was, you know, a, a bit serious. And I also know that these videos get dislike bombed because people are very sensitive when it comes to these topics. I'm losing my voice right now. So if you could do me a massive favor, please like this video. Like seriously, but please, please like the video because it's going to have some nut jobs in here. And now I said that, they're probably going to try and, you know, counter the likes and stuff. So please do your bit, like the video. And most importantly, get your comments down below. I, I genuinely love to know your, your thoughts and opinions. I know this video hasn't had all the different camera angles and, and everything, but I I want to do like an old-fashioned I have a video for something like this because it is a very important topic and uh, yeah let me know your thoughts down below if you want to tweet me your thoughts or Instagram DM or whatever your thoughts to me please do so but most importantly I hope you enjoyed the video but secondly also could you subscribe to the podcast seriously the buddies podcast is there in the description I would really appreciate it if you went and subscribed to this wonderful podcast featuring me and my buddy Aiden where we speak about internet stuff and all the good things that we honestly speak about on this YouTube channel please subscribe the links are in the description we're trying to hit 20k on there so it would mean the world to me if you did that but uh yeah that is the end of the video if you are watching this that vegan teacher please realize that uh i'm not saying this out of need to be a dickhead I i'm saying this because I, I think that you are damaging in a, a community and i also think that you genuinely don't understand the lgbtq plus community and, and why it exists how it is in the modern day but yeah thanks for watching everybody peace out and have a lovely day bye bye